The Planet Man. Fascinating story of Danto, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Danto, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. As you will recall, Dantro and Barrow were in the graveyard of spaceship with a band of survivors. Slats, out in space aboard the Alpha, has discovered that the ship will only move one way toward the planet upon which Dantro and Barrow are trapped. Surrounded by hostile ships, he decides on a desperate measure. That's right, you skunk. Sit out there where you're safe. You're waiting for me to quit to give up, huh? Well, you wait till your ship's rot with rust. I wish Dentro was here. Promised him I'd go back to Aurora for help if he set up that flare. Now I can't go if I want to. Now there must be some way out. He could think of it. Now why can't I? only directions the ship will go is toward that rotten trap of a planet. If I head in that direction, I'll only get the Alpha into worse trouble than it already is. Wait a minute. That's it. It's a chance. If I'm wrong, it'll be just too bad. Well, I'm not doing anyone any good sitting out here. I'm going to try it. Say, Thacro, that in all the years you and these others have been here, there hasn't been a chance of escape? Not a chance. When a ship is dragged down by the magnetic field, the insect people surround it almost at once. Well, I didn't see any signs of them when our ship crashed. You were unconscious, planet man. As I told you, I did not wait since I feared whoever had been responsible for our crash would soon appear. My sensory mechanism told me that they came almost a second after I carried you away from the launch. You see? That's the way it's always been. The few you see here with me did as Barrow did. All the rest have been carried to the insect people's city below as slaves. Did the insect people ever come to the surface otherwise? Only when a ship has crashed or to send out a space patrol. They can no longer make any of the things they need to live. The machines that serve them were built when their race was still advanced. Now all they can do is to wreck ships and use the equipment and radioactives they find aboard. And the field that surrounds their planet, what of that? That, too, is one of the machines left from the days when their race still had scientists. And if we could wreck that machine, they would not know how to repair it. If we could wreck the machine. But you're talking of the impossible. The machine is miles beneath this surface, guarded, hidden, inaccessible. Unless we could get down there. There's only one way any of us ever get down into the cave cities of the insect people. As their slaves. Over the years, they must have carried many thousands of wrecked spacemen below to their city. I know what you two are thinking. Let them capture you and then start a revolt. You think we haven't thought of that? Even tried it? Hmm. Don't underestimate the insect people, planet man. They're a dying race, yes. But they're not so easy to deceive. Well, has none of your band ever managed to get below and return? None. And as I said, we've tried it. Over the years, 20 of our group have gone below. None have ever returned or even managed to send us a message. What do you think, Beryl? It is not a matter of thought. I will leave the thinking to you. As I told you, Planet Man, my expedition is in jeopardy. They are with the insect people. I can only follow and do my best to free them. Listen to me. I know what I'm saying. If you let them take you down there, you'll never return. Here at least we're free. We can hope for some miracle. Once you go down there, you're as good as dead. Well, it seems to me you're not much better off here. You only think you're free. But free to do what? I'd like hunted beasts cringing in the shadows of this graveyard of ships. You will go with me then. I think so, Barrow. I wait for only one thing. I'm still not sure what has happened to Slats. There's a chance he's not been trapped. He may be on his way for help right now. You mean you have a ship out there? Oh, yes. We left our ship 100 million miles off in space. We feared a trap of some sort. Oh, forget him. He'll rot in space or soon join us here. 
Your ship will lie here with the others and rust sooner or later. What do you mean? Half of us have tried the same thing, only to discover when we try to turn away from the planet that we were caught in its pull. A hundred million miles won't matter. Your ship is just as surely trapped as you are. The odds are slim, but I may make it. What have we got to lose? All right, you scavengers, follow me if you got the guts. Here I go. I'm going to have to shave it close. You are all she'll take. Better step up the drive. What's the reading? Fifteen million miles from target. When I hit ten, I'll set the speed up higher. Ten million. Eight million. Six million. Three million. One million. Five hundred thousand. Wait another few hours, Barrel. If there's no sign of aid from the Mardi, I'll go out with you to the city below. Wait. Can you hear it? Hear? Hear what? My sensory mechanism is more acute than you're hearing. It sounds like a ship coming down, but at incredible speed. Yes, I can hear it now. Is it really a ship? It might be Slats and the Alpha coming with help from the Mardi. It is only one ship, and it seems to be headed straight toward the surface of this planet. I warned you about that. You might as well cross that ship of yours off. It's coming down to join these other hawks here in the spaceship cemetery. Well, let's get to the surface and see. Look out there. You can see it now. Is it the Alpha Barrel? It is the Alpha. Falling, as I warned you. No, not falling. He's heading down with every ounce of speed those engines will give him. Well, that's suicide. He must have lost his head. It looks like it. Slats is heading for certain death. What can he be trying to accomplish? We'll be back in a moment. So, level off. When we left Dantro, Barrel, and Sacro, the leader of the underground on the planet of the insect people, they were watching Slats power driving the Alpha onto this strange planet in what appears to be certain destruction. We find Slats as he mumbles to himself during this maneuver. Well, I hope I make it. But if I don't, there won't be any pieces left to bury, not even of the Alpha. What's the reading? A hundred thousand. Well, I'll know in a minute. Those other ships didn't even try to follow me. I guess they figure I quit. Well, one of us is going to be surprised, and I hope it's him. Had him come. I wonder that might be it. What is it, Beryl? The angle he's headed straight down. He's approaching the surface of the planet at a slight tangent. Do you see what he's up to? Wait a minute. Of course, I knew Slats wouldn't give up that easily, but can he make it? It's going to be close. He's coming closer. Closer. Watch it, Slats. Watch it. He can't hear you. I know it, Beryl, but I have to do something. Watch it, Slats. Watch it. What are you two talking about? He's committing suicide and you talk. Let's get the cover. No time to explain now, Slats. Slats, now! He did it, Barrel! He did it! Good old Slats! You two mad? What's this all about? You didn't hear any crash, did you? No, but he might have hit too far away. In this thin atmosphere, sound doesn't travel very far. He did not crash. I would have heard it, and you can take my word for it. He did not crash. All right, all right. So he didn't crash. So what? I'll explain to him, Barrel. See, Sacro, you must have been right. He was trapped. There was only one way he could move, and that was the way the magnetic field pulled him toward this miserable planet. I don't need you to tell me that. I could see it. But what you don't see is why he did it. What is there to see? I saw he almost committed suicide. Almost, but not quite. It was the only chance he had to break the grip of this planet. Right. He used the pull plus the Alpha's drive to build up terrific speed. He just shaved the surface of this planet, but when he passed it, he was going at an incredible rate. Maybe enough to break out of the magnetic field. What do you think, Beryl? I wish I were sure. There is a chance, but we do not know just how far the field extends. He may merely end up caught on the other side. I cannot wait to find out when my people are in danger. You're going down below now? I must, but there is no need for you to risk your life when there is a chance that Slats will return with help. I have no life to risk. I am a machine. Machine or not, I can't let you go down there alone. 
Count me in. How about you, Sacro? Or any of you, are you going with us? I admire your bravery, but you're fools. I told you there isn't a chance. We'll stay here, where at least there's a hope. Well, have it your way. Where's the entrance? I'll guide you there. Zalto, you take charge until I return. Yes, Sacro. Follow me. <laughs> There. You see Planet Man at the foot of that rise? That rough depression? That's it. It's a huge port. At regular intervals, the insect men come up to scout for new wrecks or to send one of their ships out to see if some ship is caught in their web. How often do they come out? Oh, don't you or You wouldn't have to wait long. There should be a party leaving or going very soon now. You'd better leave then before you're seen. How much longer will it be light? An hour or so. Now listen. You know what's under that lock? A straight drop, miles down. Even if you had a jet copter, it wouldn't work here. Forget this crazy scheme. Come back with me before it's too late. Thanks anyhow, Sacro. You'd better get going. If Slats returns with help before we get back, tell him where we are. I'll tell him you said goodbye. That's about what it amounts to. Dancer and Barrel seem to be walking to certain doom. What has happened to Slats? We'll be back in a moment. But first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. Again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Crow, the Planet Man. The Planet, 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 Planet Man. Planet.